Sanity has finally prevailed that one of Uganda's oldest sport boxing as new leaders have been elected in two offices today. The sport has been torn by political wrangles with inactivity taking place, a thing that had deterred its development. A new chapter is yet to be started as promised by city lawyer Kenneth Gimogu, who has been voted in as the new UBF president for the next four years. Right away, we are going to plan tournaments. Already we are behind schedule, both local and international. We are going to do everything that we can to ensure that the tournaments that have been in abeyance for so long are rejuvenated and to ensure that international tournaments are also on our calendar. After being handed over the tools of office, Gimugu promised uniting all stakeholders and have a quick set of saying much time has been wasted in Rangos. Obstacle brought about by the conflicts has been that Aiba could not recognize us in our endeavors, even internationally. We couldn't send any boxers abroad. But now that we are going to be able to do that, then we are going to do that. We shall also take the game of sporting around the country. We shall have tournaments in Masaka, in Mbale, in Soroti, in Arua, in Iguru, everywhere. Other new office bailers include UPDF's Lieutenant Kano Mwanguzi, who has been elected as Vice President Administration, Dr. James Sakajugo as Second Vice President Technical, Simon Balego takes the General Secretary slot, and Ed Guru as Treasurer. Fred Kamuma takes the Publicity Secretary position, Paul Ayaisi, Organizing Secretary, and Annette Balega has been elected as women representative.